Hey guys, we're going through a few comments and I want to clear a few things up. Uh, we have a viewer, Steve B, I'll just say it that way. Um, in a video, Terry made a comment about the water at the laundromat in Ehrenberg. It is not free. It is uh, $2 to fill your rig up and that's pretty much good up to 50 gallons. If you, if you need 100 gallons, it might be a little bit more, but that's what it is for there. The dump's broken there uh, right now. The reason Terry got confused is usually I pay for the dump and in that price is you dump your tank and you get to fill with water. But anyways, it's $2. It is not free. Sorry about the uh, confusion there or whatever. Just wanted to clear that up. Hopefully that works for you, Mr. Steve B. And we also put it in the comment section on that video and we put it in the description area. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry about the confusion, people. Right. Um, and then you want to tell them what the name of the place in Blythe was that we looked up that um, some people said we should have left a link. Wastewater Treatment Plant in Blythe. And you can go online and you can look the address up and you can even get the phone number and call them. Yep. It's $7 um, and it's on the honor system. Oh, okay. So, yep. I did not know that. But... Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah. When we don't leave links, you guys, but we say the name or waste waste management you can always look it up on google it's always uh it's really easy to go on your phone or your computer and look that up if we don't leave a link there but uh we'll try to leave links but i'm not always the best at that so and a good thing to do is when you hit these towns especially the the larger ones and Blythe is not that big if you look up wastewater treatment and give them a call a lot of them do have a lot of them are free yeah. you just usually can't get water there because it is a wastewater facility yeah but usually it's either very ex uh, inexpensive to dump or free i think the most we ever paid at one of those was five dollars i think R that's right, the highest yeah. we've ever paid and the one in blythe but there is right. no other place there right. anyway so i can see their yep. uh concern and it's from what i understand it's a really nice facility right okay so water is not free at Ehrenberg laundromat it is two dollars up to what, what I, I talked to him he said you know he goes how big's your tank i said 30 he goes two bucks i said well what about 50 he says about well, two bucks right so i don't know how much some of these other rvs take but right yeah, it is Scott, two bucks you always free. just pay it right and he just charges you when you go in to pay for the uh dump correct but we've actually been getting water down at the kiosk um I don't and I think it's 25 cents a gallon there. Right. A dollar for it five It changes gallons. everywhere you go on these yeah. kiosks. Hey guys, so we got a comment from Poker Junkie. And it reads, it says, don't like the new orange thumbnail. Hard to read and cuts you off. Okay, so to answer that comment, um, I understand that the other thumbnails were hard to see. I didn't realize it until I was already... Um, I already had a bunch of them done, then I went back to look and I realized I couldn't see it either. It was easy to see it when I was on this program and I was working on it. So I've changed the color, I've changed the font. It's a little bit harder for me that way, but I will go ahead and do it because I think you're right. It's, uh, it was hard to see. So thank you for your comment and letting us know. All right. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. Hi guys. So this morning I fired up the hot water tank and uh, so Terry could take a shower. I took one yesterday and uh, I kind of seen a little water dripping down the side and I didn't really see where it was coming from. So this morning I fired it up and everything and Terry took a shower and I walked over and I could see where it was dripping a little water. So I decided to play with it. Big mistake. Let me show you what I got. He and I'm going to have to fix pliers. it. I, yeah, maybe the wrong <laughs> the tool. Mighty pliers. So I'll open this up. And I'll show you what I've done. So it was leaking from this little thing in here. Just a little drip, drip, right? So I decided to tighten it up. Let me have Terry turn the water on and show you what I've done. You want to hit the water, Terry? Look at that, from bad to worse. <laughs> All right, we'll get it fixed. Go ahead and turn it off, Tara. <laughs> so obviously it's cracked right on the side. Should be able to find one in town right here in Parker at Spanky's. 
Um, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the water out in here. So, fun and games, at least it's a beautiful day. We'll get her fixed up. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. All right, so we're gonna give it a shot. I don't have a socket that fits that, so I'm gonna try my wrench, and then I will take a screwdriver and put it in there, and hopefully I can get it cracking. If it, if it rips, then I'm gonna be tearing everything apart. So let's see what happens. I'm not even sure if I can get this in here, but. It doesn't look like I'll even be able to get a turn on it. That angle. Oh, everything's in the way. Looks like just gonna have to have a socket, I think. Let's see. I think it's ripping. Oh, great. Oh, this is terrible. Just terrible. All right, so, but there's no way to stop that, right? Nope. So now I gotta figure out how to get it out of there. <laughs> That's gonna be a challenge now. Luckily it's just fresh water. Yeah, but it broke off, so now I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that out of there. Alright, well I've got some uh, let's just let it drip. needle nose. Uh I, hopefully I have a Alright, we're just gonna let that drip, I guess, right? All right, so now we've got to go to, to the spankies. spankies. I'm hoping, yeah. It was obviously just ripped and just sitting there. It's old, so hopefully I can get a, uh, a bigger than a screwdriver, a, a chisel that'll get in there and wedge it and get it to spin. I'm hoping. Otherwise, or maybe Spanky's has an idea because I'm sure they've dealt with that, that before. Very true. Spanky's um, is, I believe, are they the only RV place in Parker, it, Arizona? That I found, yeah. Yeah. All right. They're really so good people there, so. We're going to go up there and see what they got. Let's hope. <laughs> all right, guys. Scott just stuck his head in here. And you know those moments when um, you think all else has <laughs> failed and you're not going to be able to fix what, what broke? <laughs> I so can at happened? least get it where we broke the part <laughs> you, off. You came in and you were pretty excited. Yeah, because I, I found a way to do it. So I'll show you guys what I can do okay. here with so, limited tools. So. All right. So if this happens to you, yeah, there we go. We're still in the parking lot. People are out here enjoying the what sun there is. Well, I let all the water drain out. And what I have here is a spade uh, bit, and I and I put it in there. It's just slightly bigger than the inside diameter of my thing here and uh, I was able to get it to I think spin so there it goes so oh please stay in there oh no oh, maybe gotta get a little further I had it turning so hard part is to come out straight. There it turns. Come on, baby. Oh, might be a bit of a. I'm trying to. I'm trying to stay out of Scotty's way with the camera, and I also want to show you guys so that if this happens to you. Maybe. Oh. Uh, See this bit? Maybe just two. Oh, it's still turning. You're just kind of. Um, Is it? It's what's happening is I can see the plastics kind of. No, no, no. So, okay. But I did get it to spin some. So, this is just a little too small. Thought I had my hopes up too. So, I just need something to. I know I always stick my tongue out when I do things too, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people do. If I just get it to... Now you guys are all, a bunch of you are going to have comments about what he should and should not be doing, but you have to remember you guys, it's always easier to sit here and watch someone and have a comment <laughs> than it is to be on the oh, end of, of, the, of the problem. <laughs> so that didn't quite solve it. I just don't have a... I have my chisel here, but it's too small. I'll try to angle that some. See if that works. 
Well, we can always go and buy what we a larger one if we need. I don't even have so that. it's just basically a plug that's in there that yeah. they put in there, and it's got to he's got to be able to pull it out of there. Yeah. Is it does it have um, threads on it? Yeah, or is exactly. It just, it's exactly. Got threads? It's, for, it's for draining in the winter time. Right. And right, but I mean the plug goes in and threads in correct, there. Correct. Correct. Uh, I'll just have to figure something else out here. Yeah, so there's no way oh, to like so stick the pliers in there, the needle nose, and pull it out because it's got threads on it, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Need well. Okay, I'll find Come, <laughs> come get me when you when you figure it out again. All right. He's got his pile yeah. of tools. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How I you doing? This. I, I'm getting there. So I just took my chisel and I I kind of wedged it. Into like, the plastic. Right, like you were before. Yeah, so it's not hitting anything and just trying to. Slowly but surely, huh? <laughs> I mean, as long as I don't goof up the threads, which I'm not touching, I should be okay. Get this thing out. It is getting a little easier if I can get it's, a... Yeah, it's coming out quite it's a just, lot, actually. Uh, oh, that's not going to be good on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, Do you want me to try doing it? Oh, I almost got it here, I think. Right. Oops, sorry. Right. So better to see, notice this today than... Yeah, at the women's... What? So it's Thursday and we were going to um, leave today to go to the women's RTR and then um, we talked to everybody else and then this happened and um, I think we're obviously going to go do our shopping today well, and, then, the and then we'll go ahead and head there tomorrow, Friday. And I've already gotten a couple uh, emails from some ladies. So I'll be meeting up with a couple gals, which is nice. But of course, I'll have my girlfriends, Dana and Sharon, with me, so. And I'll have my boys. <laughs> uh, somebody asked if there was a men's RTR. No, I don't think so. All I know of is the women's RTR and the and the regular. There RTR. we go. Yay! Okay, so that's what. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, it is really. Well, I've just chewed it up. Is what happened. Um. So I wonder but, if any of that fell inside there. Well, I'll pump water in. It'll push it right out. I'll hit the tank. All right. So. Hey. Do that. Now I just need to clean it up a little. Should be good to go. And then you had all the propane turned off while you were out here on. playing, huh? Yep, yep, yeah. Yep. Make sure when you're playing around anything like this. I mean, I don't know anything about propane, guys, but I just know out of caution you probably just should turn everything off. <laughs> kind of like when you're playing with electricity, just turn it all off and then it's safer. And that then way. play with it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. okay. Dokey. So now. I'll just clean it up. The we... problem will be trying to find one that fits that. Uh, I'm sure they have one there. It's... Uh, I hope so. I'll find if not, we'll be there. going to have a Havasu, and that might change all of the plans. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We're not done. No. <laughs> yeah. Looks like somebody whittled on our uh, tire. <laughs> Still leaking. All the way in here, it leaked. Now let's take you guys into the famous Spankies here in Parker. Oh, they got just about everything in here. Toy wise for boating and uh, ooh, nice chairs. Oh, these are like our chairs. Oh, they're expensive. Well, there's a nice chair. Yeah. That's a cuddly chair. You could cuddle up in that thing. They're $84.99. Very nice. Those would never fit in the back end of our uh, truck bed area where we store. That's why we had to get somewhat smaller chairs. Yep. Yay. Pretty sure these are the exact same thing. Without my glasses, I can't tell though. Yep.
So it came in a two pack, which I like that. So I'll just take it out and kind of be wise on it. Maybe uh, if I have to pull it out again, then I'll just put a new one in again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some white tape and put it around it. And I'm just gonna have to use my uh, wrench again to tighten it in and hopefully that works until I can get a socket. They didn't have a socket here at Spanky's, but they did say I can fill the tank up after I uh, um, finish putting this in. They said I could fill the RV back up over on this far side. You know the pliers that we took the cork out of the wine with? Yeah. Why don't we use those? Because I think they'll fit the angle, but I can Oh, I see, because those are a different type of... Uh, yeah. Wrench. Is that called a wrench? This is, uh, yeah, adjustable wrench. Such, yeah. All right. So Scotty said I got it on there the right way, but I don't know. You really need a uh, a socket. Socket. Well, maybe we can just run over to. Uh, um, Do you have a um, socket in your toolbox that Jay gave you? No, it's too small. Oh. Uh, I just don't think I'm going to get it on yeah. tight enough with that. Maybe we can just go over there to... Uh, All right, so next to um, Spanky's here, let's see, uh, is, I want to say that might be O'Reilly. Is that O'Reilly? I think it's O'Reilly, guys. <laughs> it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Scotty. I got that still. Uh, okay. Do you? <laughs> Get that we, we've got a friend and one of our viewers. Yeah. And what's your name again? Bear. Bear? Yep. Just like Everybody the hat I knew that they didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Bear was just telling us that he's over there by Carolyn. And we'll see you up there because we're going to be up there after, right before the RTR, we'll be up at long term okay. for a couple days. So we'll see you. Remember the trailer that she videotaped and said I need to get one like this? Oh, that was, exactly. that was mine. That was yours. <laughs> oh, very fun. Yeah, right, across the road from her, so. right on. I'm better at taping. You're better at. It only goes on one way. You have to be able to put it on. So, it... so you have to wrap it this way. So you want to put this tape on opposite, right, of what your opposite of what you're uh, going in. That was the same way you put back on the same way. I just went this way. The other way I went oh, that okay. way. Oh, okay. Okay, that's right. I don't know if it's on yeah. there good no, we'll though, because it has to connect to the other piece. Yeah. Let me see uh, I'm not sure I got it on there then. I'll tighten it up and see what we oh, got. Oh, I never played with that kind of tape before. I'll, I'll All take right. the wrench back. So, more. Scotty just. Uh, I'm going to make it hot water because that will develop a little more pressure in the tank. Yeah, we just went ahead and fired right. it up and um, then we'll check it again. But right now yeah. it looks okay. Yeah. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. So oh, good evening everybody. Well, we got our, we got it fixed, right? We did. We did. <laughs> Oh, we have it was, hot water. We do have hot water again. We can shower again. Thank goodness. And I'm just going to say this. When you're traveling in your home and something occurs like that and you have a partner, work together, be calm, and it will all get fixed. It does. Eventually. Oh, and <laughs> Eventually. another important thing, too. Hot water bottles. <laughs> I'm making them for tonight. It's cold again. It's very cold. These things are awesome. Yeah. Um, that is one of our little tricks when it is really... Sorry about the shaking, guys. I'm trying to hang on to you guys over here on top of the computer. Um, when it's cold outside, if you get a hot water bottle and you heat it up and then you put it inside your bed, ooh -wee, 
it uh, it warms your bed up. So. And it keeps going and going yeah. and going. So, yeah. not really exciting today. That's part of our life right there. We had some issues today and we had to take care of them. We had to uh, stay calm and we had to just work together and we got it fixed. Yes, and thank Scotty you for did all the job, to... but all the work. No, I, you were able to thread that on. thing back in there. <laughs> you were able to get it back in that thing. So, uh, thank you. Yeah. So, anyways. All right, guys, we love you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll talk to you guys another day. Peace Bye. out.